I was sitting on a park bench in front of the Moorfield Community Center with four childhood friends, and they said to me, Gina, someday when you make it big, will you come back to visit us? What do you mean, I told them. You can make it too. You just need to try harder, get good grades, and you can do it too. My 10-year-old self worried for my friends on that south side Stockton Park bench. I didn't realize the enormous lift it takes to overcome the mindset that so naturally forms in those stuck in the cycle of generational poverty. Most of my friends on that park bench did not stop the cycle. Some of them did not make it. I am a principal on a school campus and I carry the weight of those stories every day. I knew I wanted to become a teacher in fifth grade. Mr. Brower changed my life. He made a dreamer out of me. He built up my self-esteem and helped me believe that anything was possible for my life. In particular, I remember vividly completing an assignment in his classroom where I had to visualize where I would be in 10 years and where I would be in 20 years and so on. I remember cutting out pictures from a magazine and pasting them to the poster. I wanted to become a model, a singer, an athlete and a student leader and start a family. I wanted to graduate from high school and college and become a teacher and inspire others just like Mr. Brower did for me. Along with the support from my parents, every single one of my dreams and goals came true. I became a model. I started a singing group called the Foxy Five. I became student body president at Taylor Elementary, Marshall Middle, and Edison High School. I played volleyball, I ran track, and became an all-area basketball player at Edison High School. I played college ball at College of Notre Dame, where I was ranked 14th in a nation in rebounding. And I married my high school sweetheart, Marciano, and we have an awesome son, Anthony Lopez. Visualizing my life in an environment where I was believed in changed my life. I had many teachers and coaches who were my mentors, Mrs. Banks, Coach Harris, Mr. Rappaport, Mr. Ramirez, and Mr. Gross. These champions created an environment and provided the fertilizer for my life to grow. Another inspiration for my motivation to get into education were my parents. In fact, it's because of their support and belief in everything I wanted to do that I was able to accomplish so many things. They met and fell in love at Edison High School in the 1960s. An interracial couple was not supposed to get married at that time. They overcame opposition to their love and racism. Married over 50 plus years, they were trailblazers. They never backed down from the challenge. They never let the negative energy shape us. My twin sister Carla and my brother Mark graduated from college also. They taught us from a very early age to treat everyone with kindness, to have compassion, and to not judge people by the color of their skin. This fueled me to become student body president at Edison High School. It was always my goal to bring people together who came from different backgrounds and to find what we share in common. When I was a student, I chose to sit by the hardest to reach kids to see if I could influence them for good. I'd always ask myself, why aren't they learning? What is holding them back? When we played lunch basketball or organized rallies, it was always to pull people together to experience the power of real community. I am black and white, Romanian, Lithuanian, Norwegian, African, American Indian, French, and Dutch. The unity in my DNA is the same hope I have for our classrooms and humanity. The reason I am still an educator 21 years strong is to represent the neighborhood I am from, to encourage educators that being a mentor to children is so important, to pull families out of generational poverty, and to be a beacon of unity in a world that is pulling apart. I am Gina Lopez, and this is my why.